I've had a request to do a how-to video showing putting an InfoPath form in a SharePoint page. I've written a blog post on this subject before because the method is not exactly intuitive. I should stress that the method I'm using here is not necessarily the only method, but it's the one I use because of its simplicity. The first thing you must do is check that your form is browser compatible. By default, a form you create in InfoPath will be set to be compatible only with the InfoPath client. This is because there are some features that are only available in client forms. You can change the settings by going to the Design Checker and clicking on this Change Compatibility Settings link. I'll click this checkbox and now my form will be able to be opened in the browser. If I had included any features which were only available in the client forms, I would see an error message here, but I have no errors so I can publish my form. To do this, you need to have the address of the SharePoint site or site collection where you want to use the form. Now I can just click through the wizard. There are different options for how to publish this form. In this case, I'm going to choose Site Content Type. This is because I might want to use the form with different sites or libraries in my site collection. I have to choose a location to save the template on SharePoint. And then I can publish it. That's the InfoPath side of the process done with. I'll click on this link to open the form up in a browser and it will be displayed as a web page. All content in SharePoint has a URL associated with it, so what I'll do now is I'll copy the address of this form. Now I'll go to the page where I want to use the form. I need to edit the page and add a web part. The web part I'll choose to add is the page viewer web part. This allows you to display different web pages within a SharePoint page and, as we've just seen, the form is now a page. I'll have to modify this web part and copy in the address of my form. If I click apply, the form will appear. Now I just need to adjust the size of the displayed part to make sure the entire form appears. If I click OK, exit edit mode, 